he finally finishes and it's actually really good. Until I realized that bad haircuts. You know how it goes, you go to the barbershop expecting to get a really good haircut. But you come out and you can't even recognize yourself. I've had my first share of bad haircuts. Some might say a little bit too much. And yeah, they are probably right. But there's one haircut that stands out from the rest. So I'm gonna tell you guys the story of how I butchered my hair. With the help of a bad barber. So I pull up at the barber shop and I notice that my usual barber seems to be heading out. He tells me that he has to go get something, that the new barber can cut my hair while he's out. Now I've never seen this guy in my entire life and I know very well that it's never a good idea to trust new barbers. Cause as far as I know, it takes nothing for a bad barber to instantly Thanos snap half of your hair. Trust me, I know from experience. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, nah, I don't think so. But my barber kept insisting that he's really good and I can take his word for it. So I finally agreed cause I kinda trust my barber and besides he just finished with someone's hair and it looked pretty good. So I was like, alright, bet, what do I have to lose? Well I had my hair to lose so I should have thought of that. So I told this guy that I just wanted him to do a little trim and fix up my hairline. I even showed him a picture just so he understands. I sit down and he starts and so far so good. After a few minutes, he gets to my hairline and I notice that he's taken a lot of time to finish up my hairline. Okay, maybe he's just really slow or maybe he's just a perfectionist. He finally finishes and it's actually really good, like I'm starting to think that he's actually better than my usual barber. Until I realized that this man absolutely effed up my hairline. Well it turns out that this man is no perfectionist, he's probably the opposite. My haircut isn't even that complicated and he messed up the most important part of my hair. I can't describe how bad it was man but just just think of the worst possible haircut you could give someone. Oh okay okay maybe not that bad but it was still really bad. I tell him about it and he tries to fix it. After a few minutes he says he's done. I see myself in the mirror and I don't understand how this man was able to go from bad to worse in less than 5 minutes. Now it's all crooked and a little bit pushed back. I tell him that it's even worse and he's like, if I try to fix it, it'll definitely end up even worse. After hearing those words, I know that this man has just ruined my career because he can't really do anything at this point. And to make things worse, he kept telling me that it's not that bad. That it brings out the shape of my head. So I got back home and I still checked my haircuts because maybe, just maybe, it's actually not as bad and I'm just overreacting. Well I wasn't because it was still really bad. I was about to accept my fate and start finding hard to cover up my shame. But then I remembered. My dad had a hair clipper somewhere in his room. It's almost brand new because he barely ever uses it. So I had the brilliant idea to get the clipper and try to fix my hair myself. So I got the clipper and as I was about to start, the little angel on my shoulder came up and tried to convince me not to do something stupid. Hey man, you don't have to do this, you know, just chill and it will all grow back in two weeks. You might actually just end up making it worse. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yo, have you seen his hairline? Oh my god, what am I looking at? Did the barber use a chainsaw? Like he literally fractured your hairline, bro. If I were you, I would just move to a new country and start a new life, bro. Like, <laughs> I like it, cut G. <laughs> so yeah, I tried to fix it myself. So I just wanted to even it out a little bit so it doesn't look as bad as it did before. But there's one little detail I forgot about. I don't have any hair cutting skills at all. So from this to this, we somehow managed to get here. Barbers really make it look easy man, like shout out to all the good barbers out there, except you. At this point I knew I just had to accept my haircut for what it is cause everything that could go wrong has already gone wrong. Luckily it all happened during the summer break so thank god I didn't have to go to school with that bad haircut. 